Before I start this review, I just want to say it's officially been 10 years since I first started this current channel. It hasn't been 10 years since I've done YouTube in general. It's actually going to be 11 in uh, November, so yeah. So in honor of that, cheers to me. I'm going to try out this G Fuel. This isn't sponsorship or anything like that. It's just, I feel like if I'm going to try this stuff, I should do it on camera. It's Tetris Blast. Holy crap, that's good. Anyways, continuing on. Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, continuing on with my horror movie review series and a review for a specific franchise. This time I'm going to be reviewing Army of Darkness, which is also known as Evil Dead 3. Now, if you saw the ending of Evil Dead 2, you will know that Ash got sent to a medieval time, or 1300 AD. And from there, he has to try to get back home, but the only way he can do that is with the Necronomicon. From there, he goes on a quest to try and find the Necronomicon when he goes into a bunch of crazy situations randomly. And when he tries to receive the Necronomicon, he unleashes something dastardly, also known as the Army of Darkness. Now, this is the third entry in the series, and it's... It plays out far more differently than the last two movies. This is way more of a comedy and way more of a fantasy film than it is a horror film, which I definitely appreciate this movie for trying something different with uh, the Evil Dead franchise, as this is the movie where Ash truly shows how much of an epic guy he is, you know, with all the stuff he does with the boomstick and the chainsaw, though he doesn't really quite use the chainsaw as much as the boomstick. In fact, this is where he got the word boomstick from, so you really gotta appreciate it from that. And the movie is a lot of fun to watch, and Bruce Campbell is by far the most entertaining part of this entire thing. Like, the shenanigans he gets into, like, when trying to go and receive the Necronomicon. There are times where demons just, you know, well, not really demons, like, there's a part later in the movie where there's, like, mini miniature versions of Ash, and they start attacking him. It kind of turns into a Tom and Jerry cartoon a little bit. In fact, the, the movie does feel very cartoony with its effects. And yeah, the movie goes way more for the humor than it does the horror. In fact, its horror is definitely a bit lacking because of how it plays out in the fantasy world. And the fantasy world, I think, looks great. The way 1300 AD looks, it looks outstanding. With all the costume design and everything that Sam Raimi and his crew put together, I think it all looks incredible. But for me, it just isn't as memorable as some of the stuff that happened in the first two movies. Because, I don't know, I guess I'm more into horror than I am into fantasy, pretty much. But uh, when fantasy is combined with horror, that can work very well. I think it works better in more serious films like Pan's Labyrinth. But, hey, the movie is very funny and with its outrageous amounts of effects that it uses. Like stop motion for the skeletons when it actually goes into the army. It's outstanding, and it shows that stuff was a lot more different back then. Even when the start of CGI, they still did stuff like stop-motion effects, and I still think it holds up pretty well, even if it is very noticeable. One thing I really don't get is, while, while, while it is R-rated, it's not nearly as bloody as the last two movies. The only, like, truly bloody scene is, like, where there's, like, a geyser of blood, so it doesn't really show its R-rating as much. Um, I definitely feel like there's more disturbing imagery going on in the last two movies. Like, it's not as gross out. And sometimes I kind of like my Evil Dead movies like that. Like, Ash vs. Evil Dead, the TV series, was far more violent. I'm not saying this is a criticism or anything. I just don't really see why there isn't that much. Because it's violent, but there's no, like, there's minimal blood at best. And I don't really see why they couldn't have boosted it up. But, hey... It's still entertaining enough to be a fun watch. I mean, with all of its comedic elements and all the silly shenanigans that Ash gets into, it's really fun to watch. And it's still very well looking for a medieval film that's also supposed to be a horror film at the same time. And it definitely does play more like a fantasy film than a horror film. And that I definitely respect for what Sam Raimi did with this genre. And most of it does work. And I do feel like it's definitely worth watching if you plan on watching all three of the movies. It's just that when I think of Evil Dead, I don't really think 
of medieval times. But hey, that's okay. Sam Raimi went for something different, and I really appreciate it for doing something different. And in the end, guys, Army of Darkness is still a fun ride, even if it isn't as iconic as the first two films. But hey, Bruce Campbell really saves this one, and it focuses mostly on him throughout the entire thing. I mean, you're not going to care about the civilians or anything like that. All you're going to care about is Ash fighting his way through the Army of Darkness in order to get back home. And it leaves with a satisfying conclusion. And it wouldn't be the last time we saw Ash. And it's the shortest in the series, so hey, you can definitely forgive it for that. And I still think it's a good time. Even if it isn't as memorable as the first two movies, it's still a great watch. Don't go into this movie expecting much of Evil Dead 3. Just expect a really fun time with a genre-bending uh, experience because it definitely does mess with other genres. The fantasy genre, the comedy genre, the horror genre is basically on the lighter side. But, hey, it's still fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is not the last Evil Dead movie I'll be reviewing. I will also be reviewing the remake. Also, yeah, I know, I'm aware that there's a 4K release of this. I do want to get the 4K release, so, yeah, I'll, I'll get it whenever I can. But, yeah, I'm in no rush. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.